Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd be f you'd come falling. Words I can read. But I must say, Solo, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? I'm built different canonically. Okay, I can't tell if people are doing jokes or doing spoilers at this point, but I'm just gonna start throwing out timeouts. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start throwing out timeouts. Like, pe like, stop! Come on, guys! Like, are you? Stop being idiots! In chat, it's so easy not to be stupid. So just please don't. Who's your favorite starter in either region? Either region or every region? My favorite starter is uh, Turtwig. Turtwig is the best Pokemon starter ever. Cyndaquil has won the poll, so if I do have to pick between these three, we're taking Cyndaquil. One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. I got a phone. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. Is there ever a professor? Can we get a professor just like one time who's like, just like one time who's like, yeah, I just like do this for the paycheck. Like, I really couldn't care less. Like, I just, you know, I'm just here to, it was the easiest job I could get. Like, I don't care about like, oh, record every single Pokemon. Yeah, whatever. Oak's been doing that since like 95. Like, who cares? Who's spoiling? I don't know. People are saying things that seem like they're spoilers, and then other people are saying, like, hey, don't spoil stuff, so I just gotta start throwing out timeouts, because people are... Whether, whether they're legitimate spoilers or not, I have no way of knowing, because I've never played the game. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented and not many have mastered the skill of using them. You literally just like throw it. Do you not have anyone that plays baseball around here? Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Yeah, please don't enter me. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Mm, we would call that a symbiotic relationship, but also I don't trust you. Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one out, another out, my boy? Come now, what do you yada yeah, yeah, I was about to read the same thing again because I looked at chat and then looked back expecting another dialogue box. You've convinced me! Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. Yeah, okay, like, what, what if I'm like a serial murderer? Like, hello? We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Okay, yeah, so I can't help but notice that you're still not informing me anything about, like, the giant storm in the sky above what I assume is Mount Coronet, like, preparing to destroy the planet. We're just, okay, yeah, sure, all right. It's probably nothing. Follow me, then, onward to Jubilife Village. Chat, that's the name of the place! From Gen 4, the city, Jubilife! Oh, reference! I want to set this guy's hat on fire. Oh, hey, look, it's the thing I was talking about. That's yeah, probably fun. If I see someone post the same message that I've ignored them post five times in a row again one more time, I'm going to start throwing out timeouts for that, too. Stop spamming. Thank you for your tireless work, keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. Come, guardian. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. We're really just, no one's worried about that. All right. This way, if you please. 
Jubilite Village has come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition team. This road we're on now is known to the locals as Kanala Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet, not many things. Okay, I don't like that the dialogue is going like this right now. And since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot outside the village. Speed reading, you know that like eight year olds play this game, right? Now that impressive building up ahead of us is Galaxy Hall, headquarters of something or other. Oh, botheration? Botheration, how do I kill this guy, chat? I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. Okay, hold up. Legit talk for a second. I don't remember what the professors looked like in Gen 8. I know what the Gen 9 professors look like because they're like the past and future like guy and lady, right? That's Gen 9 is the like uh, past and future thing and then Sword and Shield is Gen 8. I don't remember what the Gen 8 professors look like. However, I gotta say, this is the worst looking professor of any Gen, right? Like, is that the general consensus? Like, Juniper, Rowan, Oak, uh, whatever the two new people's names are, they've got cool designs as well. Uh, even, even Kiwi, Kukui, whatever his name was from Gen 7, was better than this loser. Like, this guy looks like an idiot. The professor in Gen 8 is Magnolia. She's pretty. Hold up. Let me, let me Google this. Pokemon... Pokemon Professor Magnolia. All right, let me see this chick. It's like an old like grandmother like lady. I like her cane with the uh, the bird Pokemon on it. Yeah, she's neat. She's cool. She's she's got a good design. Th this guy is the worst one. He's the worst one. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? I'm gonna get Cyndaquil to light all of these water wheels on fire. It's just past this bridge here, then to the left, the wall flower it's called. That's not a flower at all. That's a building. You got the wall part right, but you like, you ruined the flower. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show you where you need to go next. Do you really need like the in-game like arc phone telling you how the minimap works? Use the minus button to view the map on your arc phone. You can consult the map for guidance, yada yada. You also see guidance markers when you're out exploring and running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. As it turns out, I played a video game before. Hello, wallflower. Well now, aren't you awfully sussy baka? Oh no, he saw me venting chat. The wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders, move along. Do you like have a blade of grass taped to your upper lip? You idiot. Yo, it's Dawn. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes? What are you talking about? If a Cyndaquil shoots a fireball at you, your outfit is not gonna protect you any more than mine. Hello? Oh, look at that, you're wearing a normal t-shirt instead of like, uh, wearing like a jacket with an OB around the center. What are you gonna do when a, when a friggin' Rhyhorn horn drills you in the stomach? I would survive clearly, but you wouldn't. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Yeah. I, I'm i really close with the Uchiha clan. Perhaps you've met Professor Laventon? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take to my bed. But the Professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! Oh, your name isn't Don, your name is Akari now. Congratulations, that's way more Japanese. But everything will be quite all right now. Solo here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? Attack on Titan? Yo, put me underneath Levi? 
You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. That must be the person related to Cyrus. I'll allow it. Captain Silene? Man, that forehead. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. Survey Corps, words. I'm the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Professor Laventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. I do like being fed and housed. Mm, you look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us. Sus? This game is so sussy baka. Without any idea of their skills or origins. I got a mean right hook. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Aha, uh -huh, most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi if you please, but make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Professor Lavington, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, well, you know of that great hole in the sky, the one people call the Space Time Rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. You're telling me that I fell out of the giant rift above Mount Coronet, but landed way over there at that I don't believe you. You can't be serious. Come now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hiswi region. That there are, in the grass, in forests, by water, or wherever they like. Our job as the Survey Corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Yeah, some of them just look stupid, though. Like, have you ever seen a Stunfisk? It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Solo will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand? It only took me like five Pokeballs. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We have a hard enough time catching even one wild when wild Pokemon come after us. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now have your fill, Solo. And think, if you make it into the Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. That was quite delicious, quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Solo has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Solo's skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Solo, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters here. You should really, like, paint on some, like, eyebrows or something. But if you fail to, pa to pass the trial, we put to you tomorrow. You must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Oh, jeez. Captain Silene's somewhat like Hiswi in that they're both quite harsh. What, like the re like the region? Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Why is this guy so tall? Yes, good night. 
A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Nah, I've seen worse. In an unfamiliar land. Let me in! What's up? Wow, you have enough free space in this village that I get like an entire like building to myself? A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hiswi region. To read them at any time, simply press up in the menu. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Thank goodness this game has autosave. Rest until tomorrow morning? Heck yeah. Uh oh. Look at those idiots. Those doofuses. Oh dear. Eh, probably fine. I had, you know, still probably fine, but. And the next day. Good morning, Solo. Are you up? Quite some lightning, lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so let's give it our all. Open up. This is the police. Wait, I'm the one leaving the room. I like that little loading uh, symbol at the bottom right. That was cool. What lovely weather we've got. Hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Yeah, when can I get the sick new threads? Let's get to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. What a brown. Hello, I'm here to work. The Survey Corps' offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up, keep those eyes open. Pacel? The wild Pokemon, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. Aw, oh, Yajiro's so dead, dude. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corps will put you to rights. That man's with the security corps, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Yeah, sounds like a loser. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Yeah, that's the point of a trial, idiot. Captain Silene, Solo is here. You may enter. Silene watched Dragon Ball Z and was like, yo, Super Saiyan 3 is the look to go for, but didn't realize that Super Saiyan 3's lack of eyebrows kind of requires the long hair to balance it out. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. All right, two of these are clearly far superior to the third. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Your team sucks! Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. What's up? That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. Akari, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. The Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your ARC phone and you can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types, missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure. Requests are optional. Got it. 
I better get the cool outfit that Akari has later, by the way. If I go through this whole game looking like just wearing like these shorts and t-shirt, I'm gonna be mad. Pardon, Solo, come with me a moment. 